What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Um, I don't really have anything particular in mind for today's run, so let's just kind of get started smoothly here. Uh, let's grab Thief. It's been a while since I've played Thief. A good while, actually. I don't even remember the last time I played Thief. And for a good partner's squad, let's grab Water. I know it's not been that long since I played Water, but I don't remember the last time I started with Water Skull. And most people would start with um, Lake of the Spirit, but personally, I'm an enjoyer of starting with uh, Dive or Tornado. Dive, because it has iframes on it, and iframes, of course, are a thing I'm a big fan of in Skull. Even though the iframes on Dive are a little iffy, I would say uh, Dive is still, you know, iframes are iframes, so if there's ever a time in a room or against a boss where you need to dip out and just take a quick breather, uh, something that makes you invincible to damage is, of course, going to be very useful for that, so. Um, but also, I don't know, when it comes to Lake of the Spirit, powerful, uh, powerful ability, don't get it twisted. But I would say I just generally tend towards active abilities, which is something, you know, I don't quite adhere to that as much as I used to. Because I used to even dislike uh, parries, which I don't anymore. I actually quite like parries now, but... Uh, I still tend to prefer just action-oriented uh, momentum gameplay where I'm always uh, making a play that immediately doesn't go on the battlefield and uh, Lake of the Spirit's more of a passive skill that like uh, over time adds up to value. Not to say it's bad though, of course, it is very powerful. And if I could get it as my second ability, I would actually be pretty happy because Dive and, um, Dive and Lake of the Spirit have quite a bit of synergy in the sense that uh, like, if you cast your Lake of the Spirit and then dive, you can uh, passively gain uh, water spirit charges, or uh, water wave charges, whatever you want to call it. Whatever the passive is called in this water skull. Uh, you can passively build that while being invincible to damage. Though, uh, I would say when it comes to iframes in this game, uh, dive is like one of the more... Uh, not... Like, it's, it's not infallible. Uh, compared to something like Genie's iframes or something like uh, when he pops out of the ground he it's like a it's an animation and you're stuck in that animation until it's over with so like if you ever pop out of the water uh, in the middle of an enemy's attack you have like a brief moment where you can take damage and there's nothing you can do about it so Water Skull is a little weird in that regard, but I don't know, he's a very powerful Skull. Like, I, <laughs> I think that's the most negative thing I have to say about this character across the board. Uh, very powerful, very consistent. I would say a fan favorite for good reason. Also, don't mind if I do. Also could have taken the Brawl Omen, but let's, let's hold our horses a little bit in that sense. Decent Omen, also I'll take that, I guess. Duel? A uh, duel is... No, it's obviously a very powerful inscription. I don't have a super high opinion of this legendary, but I don't have a low opinion of it. I think this legendary is kind of like in a weird limbo state where it's not bad, but it's not insane. It's not incredible. It, it just kind of exists. I, I would say the, the biggest problem that this legendary has is it doesn't really do dual things, you know? Like, when I think of dual, I don't really think of... Of, of, of this, an item that deals damage. It does increase both of your stats in both directions, which is very dual, but um, it, the, the item effect itself almost feels completely removed from dual, which is very interesting. But like I said, not a bad item, and certainly better than Veiled Mask for a dual legendary, so at least dual gets something now. Whereas before the most recent update, Anything that Duel had was, uh, sadly, like, you know, like, any Legendary it had, like, that was a Strike Legendary. It had pretty much nothing to do with Duel, and people never considered it a Duel Legendary. It was just a tacked-on extra inscription, and also Veiled Mask is probably the worst Legendary in the entire game. If not, I don't even say probably, it is the worst Legendary in the entire game. Like, you don't even want it half the time on Duel, or, uh, yeah, Strike runs, when that's what its, like, entire purpose is. It is what it is. Um, it's not... Like, if you can get it to work, it's a very powerful legendary, but, like, the situations where you can get it to work are so few and far between. Also, 
What if I did the weird thing on this run where I build a rare thief and take advantage of the slowness on rare thief? Bit of a meme build. I'm probably not going to do it. But um, if, you, if you've ever noticed, Thief's uh, back roll skill changes a million... Actually, every single time you get it on every different form of Thief, it's different than it is at the end. Um, on this form, it deals physical damage and uh, it, it applies slowness to enemies. Which no other form has that. Every other form deals magic damage and none of them have a status attached to them at any other portion of the existence of this... Uh, of this ability which is like more of a meme than anything else but you can if you if you want to use it all the way to the end of a run i did it in the dark mirror meta i've not tried it during the myths and uh you know the myth dlc meta i'm sure it works but it's still a meme and i wouldn't say like anything you should really do if unless you're trying to have some fun but it works so that's a thing we'll take that uh also that so now we have to build up our blood drum sword which isn't a big deal it's not hard to do we can do it quite easy Ugh. and also give me a folder now i guess uh sure whatever man i'll take it <laughs> although it does make building the blood drum sword a little harder but i'm still gonna do it yeah i'm not gonna do it there though Blood Drug Sword is, uh, it's going to take a little bit of, uh, farming here, but we can do it. Oh, also the dual Legendary is going to be a little annoying, but look, we're already at six, so, like, I used to be a very big uh, naysayer when it, came to, when it comes to building up your Blood Drunk Sword. I don't know why. I think I was just being stubborn. It's a very good item. I also was a denier at the power of the item itself. I was a, I was a fool. This is a good item. The other thing I don't like is, I think more than the Fulgent Dawn, the, uh, the thing that's making this harder for me is the uh, the Duel Legendary, which is kind of unexpected. Also, I should stop this before it gets out of hand. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I miss some Blood Drunk Sword procs. We can proc it against Yggdrasil. Uh, no, that's good for me. See what I mean by the... The dual legendary, yeah, it's being a pain in this regard. Still not gonna get rid of it because I'm. It's like I'm dedicated necessarily to a crit strategy. Even though blood drug sword is more than just crit stuff, it's just a powerful item across the board. And yeah, this uh, infectious or this uh, intense cold is kind of nasty with it, especially with the. Uh, the mage guy being there, but he's not there anymore, so screw him. Man, god, this, <laughs> this uh, dual legendary is such a pain. I'm still not ditching, I'm stubborn. Like, Yggdrasil will be plenty of procs. We'll be probably around like 30 or so by the time we're out of the Yggdrasil fight, if I had to just put a, put a number out there. Could be even more, I could be underestimating how many procs we can get here. I just think we're going to continuously get screwed by the uh, Dual Legendary, as well as uh, Fulgent Dawn. The Fulgent Dawn is a ways away. Just got to remember to pay attention to the hotbar down there. That's how you can know when your Blood Drug Sword is uh, up or not. I also have to remember not to die while trying to do this. Very easy to get lost in farming your Blood Drug Sword. And, uh... Fuck it up for yourself, so let's not do that. I'll even uh, farm phase 2 Yggdrasil a little bit. I'm fucking down, dude. Think I'm not Yggdrasil? You think I'm gonna get out of phase 2 as quick as possible? I'm not afraid of your ult. That's not why I try and avoid it, Yggdrasil. I try and avoid your ult because it's annoying. Maybe I should be. Wait, no, I have revenge. How do I have revenge? Oh, from this. Yeah, we're okay. You know what? There's no fuck you, man. I'm gonna we're gonna hang out a little bit, bud. Hang out a little bit. Why not? It's not been a while since you and I talked. 
don't know who you think you are, man. Looks like you bullied me on my runs. Even though I'm kind of the one bullying him right now. We're above my uh, guess. How do you like that? How do you like that, bud? And guess what? I could have been down here a long time ago. I'm choosing to stay. I don't know how that makes you feel. Hopefully bad. Uh, he might die here. It's close. Am I gonna get this one? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Come on, dog. Three above. You know what? It was still a pretty good guess on my part. And I was I wasn't even expecting to spend that much time in phase two, so. Man, that's unfortunate. Um Poison Water and Poison Thief are both quite nice. But uh, poison is a little boring sometimes. It's a very straightforward building strategy. You just scale your damage up really high. And while that's it's it's powerful, don't get it twisted. I always make sure to emphasize how powerful bleed is to people. Uh or excuse me. Uh poison is to people. It's not quite what I'm looking for here. And for the record, I'm not trying to build bleed, because I know I've I built bleed in the last video. I should have just grabbed that, huh? It's fine though. But um I'm not trying to build bleed. I'm just uh also this would have never changed my mind. This is the worst uh status curse of all of them. Uh, this is a weird curse. I'm not even going to consider it. So we're just going to take old reliable here. But um, the poison curse is, is... It just makes poison worse. So it's really not worth it. Uh, it's the only status curse that I think is actively bad. Because poison application is extremely easy. So why would you ever need to make it last longer, right? Think about it. Like, poison application, there's like... No other status has the same powerful items that poison has that makes it so easy to apply poison poison is unique in that sense like there's no other discarded syringe there's no other um decayed heart where it's just like all i need to do is take a hit and i can apply poison okay sign me up like no other status has it quite as easy so it's just like i don't know it's worthless I guess you could say arson kind of comes close, but arson's uh, arson's um, curse isn't related to time duration. It's related to damage, so it's like at least isn't it? I think it's related to damage, right? Actually, what is uh, the arson? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I, all I know is it's not something that that you take to, uh, or maybe it makes it last less long. I think actually that might be what arson's uh, curse does. I think it lowers the duration of uh, of arson, which is a good thing because it means more damage or something like that. I don't know. Someone remind me. I don't play arson enough to to know this off the top of my head. You got another bleed proc on that. I feel like dark elites for the time being are going to be like our main a way to uh, increase our bleed. Oh my god, he killed the guy in one hit. Excuse me. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. Uh, it's gonna be rough out here trying to... Uh, awaken this blood drunk sword in rooms. Dark are our main way to do it. Uh, no invisible knife. Uh, actually, no, I'll take one invisible knife for now. But it is a, a hedge... A, hedging of my bets that I'm not committed to or anything, so don't worry. Um, let's get rid of this. It was nice while it lasted, but we don't need it. I'd rather do Brawl, which it, I don't understand why I just passed up that fucking Brawl item. It's like one of the better Brawl items. I'm gonna sell this. Now the question is, do I- I do have artifacts, so I'd like to keep this, for now at least. Um, I also wouldn't mind having this item across the board, although it's not that good. I'm actually tempted to open the mutant box. What's the worst it could be? Rejuvenation root? Thanks, bro. Thanks for the rejuvenation root. Love ya. Alright, 
right, we're at 44. We're getting there, baby. We're gonna have it at least at the minimum when we get into the adventure fight. We'll get off of one of them. Almost certainly. I would be shocked if we don't. Also, we don't have money toss yet on our uh, on our thief. Like, if you want to see a really powerful thief run, I could show you a crit item. Uh, oh, I was gonna also just grab this. Build around mutant with crit items. Pretty classic combo that scales you into the stratosphere. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, although this is gonna make awakening the uh, <laughs> maybe I don't get this against the adventurers now. Ideally, I get it here. So I need to do something about this. I'm taking a lot here. Yeah, I'm not getting this here. We're too powerful. We're gonna let her out and just leave her. We could maybe get it against him. Okay, we got a lot of uh, bleed off of that. Oh, we got it, okay. No more, I have to worry about that. So I am untethered now. I took a lot of damage in this room. It's meaningless because we're going to absolutely shred this boss with a 40% crit rate on our swap here. Watch this. Dead boss walking. Okay, well, this is a little annoying, but. Yeah, you shouldn't have fucked with me. Leave me alone is all you had to do is just, just go away. Everything could have been okay if you just moved along and left me alone and just didn't bother me and let me rampage through the entirety of Carleon and kill your your mentor. That's all you had to do. And my dad, by the way. You guys don't know this, but that's my pops. That's a Light Spirit Lou. I don't really care too much for it. Um, it's not bad, though. Is it better than 11 Bone Shards? Probably. Why not? Definitely not building spirits again, though. I already did that recently. Let's not commit to the Water Skull, but let's build this guy up to Unique. And we got Money Throw, so we got the Giga Skill. This is like the thing that makes Thief extremely overpowered on a creative run, even though he already is quite good at it. This is just what sends it over the top. Uh oh. Ah! They got me. They got me a little bit. Disgusting. Gatling Gunners are so gross. There wasn't much I could do there. Man, what a nasty, uh, nasty room we just got out of. Whenever they put Gatling Gunners facing the opposite direction, like, uh, of each other in a room in the same area, that is like a very intentional evil from the devs, and you should not forgive them for doing something like that. We'll take a second of this. We can take this for duel. I'm still down to build duel. Uh... I guess we lose treasure for here, it's fine. Man, I'm just grabbing like <laughs> miscellaneous powerful items. Like that's just my goal on this run, I suppose, is anything that's powerful, just grab it and see what it does. Although I am not taking the uh I'm not taking the uh, the wheel, even though I really could and it'd be very strong. I was thinking about deleting this for a second, but let's let's not. Or maybe I should, maybe I should. In fact, you know what, let's do it. I changed my mind. Cause now I have uh, a high max HP, I get more damage percent from my, uh, or did I, no, I already had intake, Never mind. I'm lying. But we're not gonna keep the gold instance burner forever, so. It'll pay off eventually. Um, just not yet. 
And also, I'm sw I'm already swapping a lot, so it's like, it is what it is. Also, oh my god, how many times am I going to say also, but you t come on, brother. Like, we got some shit happening here. There's some moving parts on this run already. Let's figure out if there's anything I don't want duped here. I don't, I, maybe this is where I say goodbye to this. There's some boring dupes here. This is uh, a dupe I don't want. And we already have high item quality, so I f feel pretty safe getting rid of our gold percent. This is boring. Everything else here is actually completely acceptable. I'm kind of hoping for this or this, so I can really focus dual. Let's see what happens. Just don't go do gold sword. Oh god. <laughs> oh boy. I was, I was really hoping it wouldn't do that, but also at the same time, <laughs> I, let's uh, let's lean into this. Lean into this a little bit. Mutant enhanced run maybe with crit items to boot and some duel on top sounds good to me it sounds scary to me but it also sounds good just keep in mind remember how i was and maybe you didn't see my last video where i used this item but i was talking about how in um in the dark skull fight in the bottom arena where you're fighting his second phase for some reason there's like a doubled up layer where you can kind of like if you have any AOE effects like uh, the Mutant Omen or Frost Skull's Glacial Field, whenever you apply it, it applies it twice for some reason. So now we're quadruple, quadrupling. Excuse me, can't speak. Uh, we're quadrupling our uh, our powerful effect there, and that's probably pretty good. Uh, there's no way I can finesse my way into a merry go round here. I just full send. Uh, I think we're powerful enough. We also have Succubus to make up for like a mistake I make for, uh, potentially. We're also mutant uh, Omen too, so that's like another thing. Gotta be very careful about stuff like that. But also, here's a good use case for dive. So the odds of me getting out of here with no issues are very high. Yeah, she is giga dead. Uh, we're just <laughs> we're all, we already got that dog in us is all I'm gonna say about that one guys You didn't realize that I had that dog in me did you but now you're seeing that I do and you're scared You're scared of the potential that we could end up having here Um, We do have a power skull, but we're also oh, I think this might just be the perfect item for me frankly Wasn't even thinking about that when I first saw it. The only issue is what goes uh, the gold sword. Yeah, there you go. Easy, easy choice there. We're kind of entering final build territory here, which is pretty funny. Let's just kill the run now. Trance is okay. Something I said I should probably consider taking more often. It's just a flat damage increase, but it's not a lot of damage. It's 150. And the thing about it is, is like how many curses are just straight up better than that? Also, where's Duel 3 coming from? Duel, uh, Duel, Duel. Hmm. Duel 3? I'm missing something obvious. Duel, Duel. What is, oh, I bought Duel on the pedestal. I thought I bought Misfortune on the pedestal. I must have bought Duel accidentally. Whoops. Um. There's a lot of curses that are better value than this, but it's also an act three So the odds of coming across one of those are fairly low. Basically what I'm deciding now is 150 damage better than life change or Shyness, it's certainly not better than shyness Oops, let me do that. Uh, we're at 591. That's not that high. So you know what? Fuck it. I'll take a trance This goes go-getter. Uh, maybe we'll end up regretting trance, but I don't think we will, honestly. Trance is going to be extremely easy to maintain on a build like this. We're going to be uh, swapping a lot, and it's going to put on a fat AoE that just always does damage. So it's basically like a flat 150 damage increase. Um, and even when it's not flat 150, it's still like... Like in rooms, it's going to be a little harder to get to the flat 150. Because um, at the start of every room, we're pretty much starting from nothing. But I don't know. I'm not even a little worried about Trance on a run like this. Trance on a run like this is a perfectly acceptable thing to be taking. 
And really on most runs, it's acceptable. It's just like, it, it's competing with, like basically my problem with trans, it's not really a problem. I would put like an A tier curse, um, maybe even B, but uh, the, the problem with it is it's competing for a dark ability slot. And dark ability slots are one of the most valuable things in the entire game. You only get four. But it does do a pretty good effect, so it's like... Also, the elite golem just died? He's dead. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess I get it. Like, we are insanely powerful, and he spawned into a double layered up... Uh, I don't know if they're forgotten, but... Hey. It is what it is, bro. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, what we got here? There's not too much I can do at all to improve this run. I need to fix my pedestal here. Didn't mean to buy dual. Also, I can actually just buy Misfortune here. We don't have treasure anymore. Uh, I'll probably end up buying, like, Artifact or something, but we'll see. Could even buy Antique for Antique 4. We already have Mutant 3, which funny uh you love to see it uh storm clouds on a build like this not even good even though if it's a very good item in a vacuum it's just like we're not using our basics enough to justify it we're swapping and just like letting our swap do the work for me i mean we just annihilated those fools he thought he had me there you guys know he thought he had me he got excited he felt like a russian he got butterflies like, I'm going to be the one who takes out this this monster destroying our kingdom. Nope. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not any other day. You're terrible. You're weak. I'm better than you. It's that simple. Boom, baby. Oh, we're already done. Except for, uh, of course, the min-max. Can't forget the min-max. What kind of player would I be? How are you alive, my friend? Impressive, but not enough. I don't even need treasure chests to look for, which is very rare. Also, a net legendary. Who are you? Navy? Pass. Thanks for the bone shots, though. Navy's good. Don't get it twisted, but he's not good here. I mean, these skulls are a lot better for a run like this. Even though your skull choice on a run like this is almost meaningless. It's a lot like, I guess, uh spirits in that regard but unlike spirits you're running omen too so it's a lot more like the, the, the thing about i don't like about spirit runs is uh it completely removes like player agency where the uh the the most important decision you're going to be making is like uh you know how far away do i have to stand from the executioner before he dies in two seconds to a blast i have no control over whereas with this at the minimum i'm having to focus on my uh my hp like this is not by any stretch a free run just based on um the the level of danger i'm always in and also i'm I, the, the while the aoe that appears is also we did get a uh, we did get this which is nice like the spirit but while the aoe is big it's not like huge you know you're not going to be hitting enemies from across the entire room uh with something like this but this is definitely a, a bit of an autoplay run, for sure. Um, just not as badly as some other arc uh, ways to do it. Also, we got all the skills we could ever want, honestly. Both of these are perfect uh, skulls already, so ability swappers are useless. Also, we're getting so lucky on the bone chuck count, man. This is like, this is wonderful. Just destroyed. Oh, we're already done. Okay, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Whatever, man. What the fuck ever. Um, Purple Flurp is great. The more I can swap, the better off we are. If I don't find Duel, which the odds of me finding something I want to replace on this run are very low. I think the closest I could come is the, the wheel. Which could become dual. Other than that, I don't know. I mean, we could take this. Frankly, I might just do it. In fact, I feel like on a run as chaotic as this, we can proc this more often than, than normal. So let's just do it. Fuck it, man. Let's do that shit. I'm all about it. 
Fuck it, dude. Bring it on, dude. Also, since being benchmark on uh, Hidden Blade as well, which is almost meaningless, but it's uh, 25 damage percent. What's my crit? 63? Not even max. Yeah, we, we got crit on deck. We got swap on deck. We got damage on deck. This run, I, <laughs> this run got to the end game of its build very quickly. Sometimes you just get lucky, man. I don't know. This is like a low roll door count as well. And it doesn't even matter. Just die instantly, please. Thank you. You're worthless. Ow! Okay, no, he almost got me. He almost got me. Let's go check for some healing orbs. I know people will mention that I've often missed them, which is true. I do. It's a problem. I got issues, guys. Also, I lost my swap uh, crit percent. Let's get that back. Imagine if we had Kaboom Bomber, man. Just imagine a world where that was a thing. Yeah, we're getting it back. But basically, this run is always be swapping the run. So, just always be swapping. Never stop. So, <laughs> like, the spirit actually is kind of almost useless. Maybe I should have Tornado. Too late now, but... Oh, she's dead! Oh! Beautiful. Mm, you love to see it. You love to see it. Oh. I, what more do you love to see than that? I know we say that a lot, but like, come on. Let's ruin it with Veiled Mask. I'm gonna go break it for symbolism. I probably should have broken a Quint, actually. In fact, I 100% should have broken a Quint there. We have no more use for money. Oh! Come on! <laughs> what the hell? Trance, what are you doing here? It's fine. I didn't expect the life change to actually show up. It's fine. We could also just get away with not upgrading this legendary, but let's just do it for old time's sake. And now we do our skull cooldown and attack speed because why not? I actually probably would be more benefited doing my HP first. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, this hand of glory kind of sucks, huh? Hmm. How do we fix that? Olive tree cudgel? Better dual item? Better dual item can do it. But sadly, then I'll lose Antique as well. Also, it's weird that the... Uh, that the aura didn't appear in that room. I don't think I've ever noticed that until now. Loser! Unlike me, who wins? Bye! That is the third bomber I've seen. I probably should have checked for Kaboom, even though I... I really don't think I'd pivot at this point. Stay in the mist, my friend. Also, I got iframe on deck, so, uh... Bye! Executioners are very dangerous, no matter what you, uh... No matter how you cut it, like, very scary, uh... thing to come across. I'll never underestimate them. Where's the executioner there? Anyways, bone shards. Uh, I guess the execution just melted instantly. We just didn't see it. See, we're in the shop already. This is what I mean by a little rolling the doors. But it's fine in a run like this. It doesn't even matter. I'm just going to save my money, actually. Um, I am looking for a better dual item all of a sudden, though. I didn't even consider the Omen 2 making my Hand of Glory weaker. Normally a very, very powerful dual item, if not one of the better ones. Dolchus has a lot of really good items in it. Uh, I'm actually going to give this guy some of my money. Uh, that's mana cycle. Good item, though. It's like, at least he gave me something good. Normally, I'm all about hating on that guy, but... Ooh, that did a lot. Okay, all of a sudden, I'm feeling a little scared. We don't have last resistance, so I have to be very careful. So that, like, yo, as, as vibed up as we've been on this run so far, always gotta remember that it is Omen. And Omen can just, this just happen to Omen runs very quickly. Although, this is the Halfling, so that pretty much fixes that. 
Kind of. We're still going into the adventure fight with 92 max HP. Or 93 max HP. And, uh, it could be the Huntress. And the Huntress will pretty much one-shot me. If she hits me with the right attack, so... Okay, here it goes. Let's see what happens here. Oh, she hit me with it. I'm 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 alive. Okay, we barely lived that. Holy mother. <laughs> uh, goes to show that I can't let my guard down even a little bit. Never get vibed up on a freaking Tuesday, man. Even though it's Saturday. Which is the true uh, day of the vibes. Let's just max scale our HP here. So now we're at 133. Still below the average. But you know what? It's fine. And we'll just drop that. This is a free room, especially with the uh, Idol of the Forgotten. They're just going to insta die. I'm glad I wasn't overconfident there and they actually did insta die because I would have looked pretty foolish had they not. What are you? Your bone shards. Uh, guys. Okay, we're fine. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking scary shit. That, uh, Act 4 Part 1 kind of got nasty with it, but I think we're past it, and the rest of the run should be smooth. No. Yeah, my pedestals are fine. No. Nar. Nar. Let's just save our money. Save that shit for a, a gloomy day. Also, I'm noticing we're kind of low rolling our bone shards here at the end of the run. At least a little bit. Um, not like super badly or anything. As long as I can max scale my uh, attack speed and skill cooldown shrine along with my... Uh, or actually, I guess that's really all I have to uh, max here. Then I'll be fine. I'll be happy. But I have a feeling that's not how this is going to go. But I did build a common and a rare to legendary, so maybe I'm not low rolling my doors or my uh, bone shards. I'm definitely low rolling my doors, but okay. Uh, okay, you know what? I gotta shut the fuck up. I've been pretty lucky on the bone shards, man. <laughs> who, am I, who am I kidding? This has been a pretty fucking lucky run in that regard. Like, keeping in mind the, the skulls I've built to legendary. Oh my god, that did so much. My swap shield was meaningless. I gotta remember that. Oh my god, yeah, what am I talking about? I'm fuck I'm so spoiled. Jesus Christ, man. Ridiculous. Okay. Just dead already, I guess. That's fine. Works for me. Not even a dark late in this room. Also, everyone's dead up there, too. Yeah, wow, this run's gonna be really short, huh? I don't even know what it's at right now, but, like, this is gonna be one of my shorter runs that I post. I don't think it's gonna be sub-hour, though. But maybe it will be. Who's to say? Except Father Time, but who's listening to that guy? He sucks! He needs to slow the fuck down, is all I'm saying. I had my first year on Twitch, like my first year long subscriber recently, it kind of hit me in an interesting way. Obviously, very grateful of it, but it's like, good lord, man, time will not slow the fuck down. It sucks. Right, one more. He's dead. Yeah, this is gonna go extremely well. Remember to keep swapping to keep our thing up. Yeah, 
she's dead. <laughs> Bye! See you, Joan! Good attempt, though. Honestly, good try, honey. You did well. For a noob. Uh, do we want this? No. Mutant, mutant, mutant. These are all better. Uh, we'll take the max HP. Still kind of hoping for a better duel on him, but it don't look like it's likely, so... Withered Hand, huh? Not really good, honestly, but generally a better curse than Trance. Just not here. Alright, so yeah, we got more than enough bone shards here. I would say I got... I, what was that? I don't know what I was talking about earlier, man. Oh, good lord. What was I talking about earlier? I think that's the most spoiled thing I've ever said on this channel. Although, I do have 14 bone shards left over, which is annoying. But, like, come on. I'm splitting hairs, dog. This run's dope. 620 uh, damage percent flat, but like it's not actually 620. Pretty interesting that it's so low on a just like on the surface. But we're only missing 50 because of trance, so like it would be 670 right now, flat if I didn't have trance. So trance is doing its job. Um, duel, huh? Let's see if we can get lucky. Nope. This costs 1710. I could sell uh, this and buy something else. Treasure clone stamp, good in a vacuum, not good here. None of this is what I'm looking for, so we're just kind of stuck with Hand of Glory, but it's giving me uh, the, f the flat damage that Hand of Glory would give you if you had it, so it it's fine. It's it's okay, it is what it is. Um. We'll just take the barrier and call that a day. 80 barrier going into, and this is real barrier too. None of this is fake. Like it's not like swap barrier or anything, which we can have a hundred when we swap. We actually technically have uh, close to, we have 230 max HP uh, right now, though it's not, it's fake max HP. We're gonna probably lose it in dark uh, hero fight. But here's my kit. Um, I did not expect to be on a run like this when I started today. I'm recording early just so I have more free time later. Uh, after I'm done streaming and uh, I was expecting to pretty much use up all of my fr uh, free time before I start my stream for recording this video and it's looking like I can just chill out and not worry about that shit because I'm gonna have like an hour the whole couple hours myself to just do whatever the fuck I want before I start streaming so that's kind of what's up honestly don't have to worry about recording later Got that weight off my shoulders, and now I can just chill the fuck out, baby. Smooth sailing. Because I don't think I'm dying against Dark Hero, but I guess uh, I should probably shut the fuck up and get my head in the game. The waves uh, joined me in this room. That's interesting. Uh, Sorry, Hero, that this has happened to you. But I'm also not sorry at the same time. You suck. Simple as that. You're bad. Alright, come here, bud. I got something to tell you. You aren't gonna like it. Uh, you're dead. Oh, I threw the money the wrong way. No, my damage. My, oh, he keeps dodging my fucking money toss. Oh, he's doing the thing. Oh, shit, we're really making him mad today. He's not having a good time. Where's the meatball? Go ahead and bring the meatball on if you wouldn't mind. I got something to say to that thing, too. I hate that fucker. I have a good way to dodge this, but we should be fine. Take it on the swap shield. Get out of here, meatball. 25 shield left. Not horrible, I guess. I could have played a little better there. Also, I took damage past the shield? How'd that happen? Did I come into this without max HP? Maybe. Doubtful, though. That's weird. Can't remember. I would have taken damage past the shield and still had, like, actual shield. 
The world may never know. Skull's a quirked up shoddy. Launch me, chief. I'm not playing this shit. Give me King Castle defense. Yeah, I ain't playing that. Who the fuck plays this shit? Like five enemies total, man. It's worse than chapter five. Uh, we're taking mutant. Although, let's look at the duel here. Damage dealt to the enemies that are affected by the maximum value of this effect is amplified by an additional. Th Maybe I shouldn't take. But it also gives me an insta swap sometimes, which allows me to like stack up even further on. Yeah, you know what? I'm taking mutant enhanced. I'm a much bigger mutant enhanced enjoyer. Which let's read mutant enhanced here, just so y'all don't get mad at me. Increases magical and physical, uh, physical and magic attack by 25%, and attack speed by 15% upon swapping. Maximum 125 for attacks and 75 for attack speed. Attack speed's meaningless, but the uh, damage percent's very good here. Has a 25% chance to refresh a swap up, uh, cooldown upon swapping. So we can, like, maybe triple and quadruple up our layers of uh, of our mutant omen, out of the Forgotten, and really just shred the HP. And also keep in mind, in phase two of this fight, it already double up, doubles up the layer. So... It's gonna get pretty nasty here for our bud here. By uh, our buddy here, I mean our sworn enemy. Yeah, he is not having a good time, as you guys can clearly see. Just doubled up the, the layer there. Okay, we got a nice big face over here. And uh, he's not gonna like this. Got iframes on deck too. He hasn't even done the jump yet, and he didn't get to. That's the second run in a row that I haven't let him do the jump. All right, so watch the layers of the mutant over here. See that? There's two. And they're both real, mind you. It's not a visual glitch. That's actually ha that's actually happening. Yeah, he's uh Ooh! He got me there. Okay, never mind. I was about to say he's not having a good time, but uh every time I say something like that, I get punished, so. Let's chill out. Wait, he's gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> he just died. Because we doubled up on the layer there. Okay. Well, that just happened. Um, what's my crit percent? 75? You know what? Lately, I've been kind of a, kind of a big, uh, big femur enjoyer. So let's take the femur here. Femur is good if you have a high crit rate and uh, aren't moving a lot, which we are moving a lot. Tibia would be good here. But femur also is almost certainly going to nearly instantaneously activate, and it increases my crit damage permanently by 50. Actually, let me read it for you guys here in a second, because I don't take this one as much. And uh, maybe people don't know what it does. And also, people in general don't seem... Like, there's a lot of people who are long-term fans of mine who aren't as tapped into Skull as they used to be. So let's just read this real quick. Um, increases physical and magic attack by 4% for 3 seconds upon landing a critical hit. Maximum 80%. Crit damage increases by 55% when this uh, effect reaches its maximum value. Which is quite good for me, because I'm critting a lot all the time. And uh, we're going to get this... In fact, it may already be maxed. I would not be too shocked if it was, frankly. And if it isn't, it's going to max in the actual Alexander fight. So, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I don't know how to tell when it's maxed, but y'all will probably know better than me when it's maxed. It's also possible this aura surrounding me just means it's maxed. It's not hard to max at all if you have even slightly decent crit percent, and we have 75, so... Should have gone in the air, my man. In fact, uh, can I stop him from dying? Nope. And guess what? It doesn't even matter. Normally, this is the part where I would be a little scared. I'm not even slightly scared here. Just means we have to spend an extra few seconds in this portion of the fight. But not a lot. And he's uh, very, very dead here. Especially because we doubled, layered up the uh, 
the mutant omen. Yeah, I, the tibia would have been significantly worse here than the femur. So frankly, just the conclusion I've been coming to lately is, I think femur competes with tibia in a, in a decent amount of runs. If you have even slightly high crit percent, the femur can... Uh, I would say femur competes with tibia whenever you have less items that can crit and more um, and more just natural damage, which is uh, what this run is, despite what it might look like, because keep in mind that the Idol of the Forgotten doesn't deal item damage, it deals swap skill damage, which can already crit. So basically the only items we have that can crit with Tibia are Invisible Knife, Fulgent Dawn, and uh, Indomitable Will, and these are non-entities. Tibia would mostly help the Invisible Knife, which is quite powerful, but I don't think it's more powerful than just making me deal more damage with the uh, with the femur of despair. So basically, long story short, uh, this this can often compete with the tibia and even surpass the tibia with uh, its damage output in some cases. Anyways, GG's. Um, let's get a good windscreen here. At least a good windscreen for the fucking myths and deals, uh, legends DLC uh, era we find ourselves in of windscreen breaking. Which is to say, terrible and uh, disappointing. We're just a puddle, but at least it's something. GG's. Um, obviously, an incredible showing. <laughs> Wait, I do have last resistance. I didn't. I, I forgot I took this. This would have been better as a weakness exposure. Missed opportunity. Um, I need to stop taking this on autopilot because I don't think I need it as much as I used to. Like uh, when I was learning the myths and DLC uh, meta, I would you know I take this every run. But I don't need it as much as I used to. Um, back in the day, I would only take this if I lost my reassembly. And I feel like I need to kind of get back to that. So uh, just imagine this was a uh, weakness exposure. Doesn't It's not like it would make a huge difference, but it would make a difference. And that's worth considering. So um, all said, though, this run was just incredible from start to finish. Like as soon as we duped this... Uh, this Idol of the Forgotten, we had a very clear bid build path, and uh, there was nothing that could keep me from it. Um, the only thing that I wish was better is this uh, this um, Hand of Glory. Even though Hand of Glory is a friggin' like, S-tier item, it's just not on a build like this where we have, like, giga low max HP. Everything else here, like, I don't know, the Duel maybe could have been something else, but also, I, I, the Duel was probably doing quite a bit of work. Duel 4 is quite nice. Um, and these are high-quality Duel items, so... I don't know, man. I, I feel like this run just kind of got everything it could ever want immediately and never looked back. Like, the Blood Drunk Sword was incredible. The uh, the Indomitable Will was fine. Like, a good Dilatum is, is more than enough. I actually have a feeling this was doing quite a bit of work, even though it's hard to say. I don't know when the game considers you attacking the back of an enemy and when it doesn't. It's a very strange item in that regard. Also, how does it interact with Joan? The world may never know. Guys, we have to, how does it interact with Chimera? Uh, we don't know these things. Um, uh, this is probably the best item on the build in terms of uh, just like value. May probably the Blood Drunk Sword actually, or obviously the out of I could excluding these and this. <laughs> the best utility item is either this or this. Um, probably the Blood Drunk Sword, but uh, I don't know, man. People sleep on um. On our poor bat pal, the, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Why can't I remember what it's called? Why can't I remember my name? Uh, Proof of Fellowship. There you go. It came to me. Uh, Proof of Fellowship is a very good item that I feel like doesn't get the respect it deserves. But, like, swapping is already a powerful thing. And, uh, swapping for crit percent is, like, also very powerful and it, it lasts a while five seconds is a good timer in skull and also um it's half of a thieves blackstone dagger which obviously thieves blackstone daggers are thieves blackstone daggers you can't really compete with those but half of a blackstone dagger isn't bad so for something i'm already doing in the action economy often this is basically just free 20 crit, uh, crit percent it's also attack speed which i often forget but that's not as important as uh as crit percent but yeah man Good run. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, quite powerful, obviously. Uh, death by a thousand paper cuts. We never did above thirty four hundred damage, but it didn't matter because we killed <laughs> we killed Dark Skull before he could even get out of his power form. You'll have to see it. Hopefully one day they'll fix that double layer glitch 
even though it obviously benefits the player. I don't think it's intentional on their part. It's it it kind of happens throughout the entire Demon King Castle, and it's very strange. So, oh, also just to talk about Trance a little bit. Um, definitely helpful in this build. It's just funny that I saw the life change immediately afterwards. Though keep in mind, if I had life change there, there's a good chance that we just die because I, the healing orbs that we took before the adventurer saved me. Though it would have just taken my last resistance, so it wouldn't have been a big deal. But still, I don't know. I just need to stop taking this on autopilot because I don't think I need it as much as I used to. But with all that said, I'm done here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.